guys, it's Allie and welcome to my kitchen. Today I thought it would be fun just to show you guys what I have in my fridge and pantry, so let's get into it. Fridge time. Yeah! So this very top shelf here is where we keep our butters and our garlic and cheeses. I don't eat cheese, of course. My boyfriend does. So if you're a cheese lover, he's got gorgonzola right now looks very gross and he's got his regular butter because he will not do any kind of vegan dairy unless i sneak it in which i do a lot i keep my vegan butter here which is oh i have two different kinds from the same brand right now what's the difference huh. Huh. oh this one's unsalted i didn't know they made two different kinds but it's Miyoko's. This is my favorite vegan butter brand. On this next lovely shelf here, it's where I keep like my vegetable broth that I just opened and I still have some to use. I've got some just egg here. This stuff is freaking delicious. And then it's where I keep a lot of my dressings, but right now I only have one vegan goddess dressing. I've got my vegan mayo. Xavier has his regular mayo here, which hardly uses because I cook for him and he gets vegan mayo for me and then we've got our mustard which my boyfriend is French so he has to have the French mustard Dijon original shut up got some minced garlic because I do not like chopping up garlic it is literally the hardest thing ever I like it when it's done for me next shelf is all of our like acidic pickly type stuff my boyfriend's olives that he loves. Sauerkraut here, which is so good for you. It contains probiotics. <laughs> Sorry, can I repeat the instruction? Yes. Got lots of sauerkraut here, which is super good for your gut. It's got probiotics. You do not need just yogurt for probiotics, which everyone is always preaching about. You can get it from sauerkraut and kombucha, which I have on my drink shelf. A big old bottle. My big old bottle of kombucha. Love kombucha. Like, I didn't like it at first, but now I have to drink it, like, all the time. The next shelf here is where we keep the drinks. So we've got our almond milk, the kombucha I've already showed you. I recently ordered a bunch of juices from a local juicery place. This one is my favorite. Favorite, it's from a place called Press Juicery. This has orange, apple, aloe vera, turmeric, lemon, and black pepper. It is so good. And in case you didn't know, black pepper helps turmeric activate. So anytime you drink something with turmeric, add some black pepper to that sucker. Also got some of these like little wellness shots. This one I recently tried and I tried it without any expectations. It's got ginger, lemon, and cayenne. I obviously could not finish it. You know what? <laughs> Just for good old fun entertainment, I'm gonna attempt it again. God! Oh, it burns! But I'm good! I'm good! I've also got some flax oil, which I like to add to my smoothies to loosey-goosey those joints. And at the very bottom here, which I cannot get you guys to see, it's where we keep all of our like kind of more sauces and hot sauces. So I've got some enchilada sauce, barbecue, Trader Joe's attempt at sriracha sauce. Not the same as the regular, but it'll do. Sweet chili sauce for like egg rolls and stuff. And my boyfriend here has some ketchup. I do not eat ketchup because it's got high fructose corn syrup in it. Very bad. But he needs his ketchup. And that's it for the shelf. So I like to keep everything very, very organized, like specific to what category it goes in. So the very top is just kind of like all of our sauces and tortillas. Lots of tortillas here for wraps and tacos. Got some marinara sauce, which is probably expired by now, but I've got high hopes that it's not, so I'm hanging on to this, baby. This, I feel like I've had forever, and it has not expired yet. It is so good. I got it from Whole Foods. It's a chocolate dip made of cashews and almonds. So good. I love dipping carrots in it and celery, and you could dip whatever else you want in it, like your toes. Garlic spread from Trader Joe's. 
Then we've got a couple of hummuses here. Dairy-free sour cream. This brand isn't the best. I've tried to foodie before. I think that's what it's called. That one was actually really good. This one's eh. This is the kale, cashew, and basil pesto from Trader Joe's. The next shelf is where we keep sometimes leftovers, but it's mostly our vegan meats and meats. So my boyfriend and I both have our own side because I just do not like to mix up my non-killed things with his killed things. Just kidding. My side's got all the good stuff. I have some beefless crumbles, which I add to my chili or tacos. Benevolence vegan bacon. This stuff's really good. I like to make vegan BLTs with that. We've got some turkeyless patties from Trader Joe's. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure it's pretty good. Barbecue tofu. I love the pre-cooked tofu that Trader Joe's has. Vegan deli slices, which I just brought on a camping trip, and I still have some left. I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat it because that's more of like a camping food for me. I like to be a little more gourmet at home. And then I've got some other tofu here. I also keep my vegan cheeses on that shelf, so I've got some Vio Life cheddar cheese right now. I think this is like the best brand I've tried so far. My boyfriend keeps his eggs here. Literally the only meat he has is some turkey slices and salami. He eats that on his own time. I don't cook it. The next shelf is all of our fruits. So let's get a closer look to these next couple of shelves. So so as I said, this is like where all my fruit is, but I also like to keep my almond milk pudding, which is so good. It's from Whole Foods. We also keep our dates here, which is great for baking. You can make so many things with dates. We've got some strawberries, cherries, blueberries, lemons, and limes back there. Hello, limes out there in the back. How's it going? Ah! Yeah, limes, keeping it up. Next shelf is all of my veggies. Usually I have like a ton of lettuce and spinach for salads, but I am currently lacking that. I've only got this guy right here. I've also got my pre-cooked lentils here, which are amazing. I love making a lentil salad with olive oil and apple cider vinegar and different veggies mixed in with that. Then we've got the mushroom fam back here. Here's a cute, oh. A smushy cucumber. Ew. Oh, bye bye. My carrots I like to snack on, my celery I like to snack on. And in here is all the bigger stuff. Like we've got some red bell peppers, cauliflower for when I make cauliflower wings, cilantro, cabbage. Oh, perfect. You could replace the old one. It's time to get extra cold in here with the freezer. So the only thing that I keep on the side is I've got my acai. Up top here is where we keep all of the desserts. Right now I don't have anything vegan. My boyfriend's got like his ice cream, his macaroons. The next shelf is where we keep all of our frozen vegetables. I've got a Trader Joe's mix of broccoli and green beans and peas. Lots of broccoli up in here. Literally this is all broccoli. We've got some green beans, some peas. The next shelf is more of like entrees. My boyfriend's got a lot of fish sticks in here. He loves fish sticks. What did he just buy? Fish nuggets. I've got my chickenless tenders from Trader Joe's, which aren't the best, but they're cheap and they'll do. Ooh, jackfruit curry is so good. It is pretty spicy, but I add some almond milk to it to just like counteract the spice. This is from Trader Joe's. If you have not tried it yet, it is really good. Got the Beyond Burger here. Got some vegan sausage from Whole Foods. This is a really good brand. This is the Beyond Meat Sausages, which don't taste good. They actually suck. And the shelf below that is all of the like sides. So we've got some frozen rice, frozen corn. This is a melodious blend. It's just lentils and some other goodies. Hash browns, asparagus, Brussels sprouts. Edamame, mmm. And below is all of our frozen fruit. We use that for smoothies, like we've got some mango, berry mixes. We also have frozen spinach in here because that's for the smoothies as well. So the pantry is where we keep like all of our snacks and pastas and obviously, I don't know why I'm saying that. Everyone keeps the same crap on their pantry. <laughs> Pantry. I just sound like a British person. My boyfriend is obsessed with olives. These normally would not be in my pantry. I don't do dairy and I don't do like regular soy sauce. 
I'm bougie, low sodium, baby. But I just recently did a prank on my boyfriend where I made him drink soy sauce chocolate milk. I don't know what to do with these. Some applesauce, I use that for baking different things because it's a good substitute for eggs. I don't ever eat cereal, but I bought this when I thought there was an apocalypse coming. <laughs> and I thought like we would need something to like live off of, so I bought Cheerios because I was like, well, it helps with your cholesterol. My boyfriend, he loves black licorice, which I think is the most disgusting thing ever. These are the best. They're from Trader Joe's. They're rice crackers medley. Mm. Seaweed snacks. Very good. It contains iodine, which is great for eyesight. Ooh, we got these herb and spices popcorn from Trader Joe's. So good, seriously, so good. I love tortilla chips with like salsa and guacamole, but I don't eat normal tortilla chips because I try to eat everything with some kind of nutrition in it. So I've got these that are containing flaxseed and it's got omega-3 fatty acids. We never drink soda, but my boyfriend's doing a magic trick, so he's got some Sprite here. And then up here is where I keep all of my like medical stuff. I've got a heating pad for my back because I do contortion. Bunch of different wraps for when I'm injured. All right, going deeper into the pantry here. Look at this, it's like a Harry Potter closet. So up top is where I keep all of my water bottles and containers for leftover food, which I don't really have much anymore because my boyfriend keeps stealing them for his magic tricks. And this shelf here is where I keep lentils and other random stuff that kind of relates to it. Got red lentils and green lentils. I'm not racist with my lentils. Quinoa fried onion pieces from Trader Joe's, which are super delicious. You could put them on green bean casserole or even pasta, and it smells really good. Couscous, different kinds of rice. Really crappy instant made mashed potatoes, which I only use like as an emergency if I'm really craving mashed potatoes and I gotta make something really quick, but it's not even worth it because these taste like crap. Falafel mix from Trader Joe's, really good. Lots of steel cut oats. I really eat rolled oats, so these are kind of here as an emergency. And I also keep lots of veggie broth because that is a big essential in vegan cooking. So it's good to stock up on this because literally this is in so many recipes. The next shelf here. So this whole shelf is basically carbs. So it's where I keep my potatoes and onions that I usually keep in other places, but when I've got an extra stock, they stay in here. Cornbread stuffing that I bought by mistake because it says with chicken flavor, and I don't know how I missed that, but I'm keeping it around just in case I'm gonna like make it for someone who likes chicken. Lots of different pastas here. I don't really like these kind of pastas because there's no nutrients in them, but this is what my boyfriend prefers because he does not like special pasta. And by special pasta, I mean made with chickpeas. And also here I've got some polenta, something that I recently discovered and fell in love with. All right, and obviously this bottom shelf is all of my canned goods. Some domates from Trader Joe's and giant baked beans in tomato sauce. That's really good. You don't even have to heat it up and it still tastes freaking amazing. And baby corn, which I like to add to salads. Pineapple slices, which I like to eat as a side when I make barbecue jackfruit. Lots of tomato paste because that's an essential for a lot of things I cook like chickpea meatloaf or sweet potato curry. Coconut cream is also an essential to lots of things I make. So many things you could do with that. Then I've got like all of my beans, black eyed peas, kidney beans, black beans, and lots of chickpeas because literally you can make so many things with chickpeas. There's some chickpea cutlets that I make that are super duper delicious, which I will show you guys a picture of shortly from my handy dandy cookbook. And I've got hearts of palm here, which I like to make a vegan lobster roll with. And apparently you can make crab cakes with it too, so I'm gonna try that out next. And then sliced beets, which have sat there forever because I do not like beets. And sliced black olives. And to the side here is where I keep all all of my cooking machinery things whatever you call it so I've got a food processor which has been a life changer I recently bought that and I can make so many more things now a juicer my boyfriend has like some kind of soda machine and then the Nutribullet 
There's a rice cooker down here which is collecting a lot of dust <laughs> because even though it makes cooking rice so much easier, I just cook frozen rice because that's even easier. And then there's an orange juice maker. So that's my pantry. Yay! Here is another one of our food areas. This is where I prepare my oatmeal. I have like these containers just for all of the toppings. I've got some hemp hearts here. This is where my walnuts are. Ding! It's so cool. You just open it up and there's like a little spoon you can use. Ground flax seed and then chia seed. Bananas right here. This is a baguette. Mmm, I love baguettes. Also in this corner is where I have some recipe books. Those are the cutlets, guys. I also got a soup book. This is the How Not to Die cookbook from Michael Greger. So up here is where I keep all of my oatmeal stuff. We also keep our bread here. This is the oatmeal I use, rolled oats. I literally only eat oatmeal every morning because I'm able to get so many nutrients that I need per day just from this one meal. This shelf is also where we keep a lot of our seeds and nuts. We got pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, cashews, walnuts, mixed nuts, and then I've got all my refills of chia seeds and flaxseed right here. Up top here is where I keep my vitamins. I take zinc for my skin, lysine also for my skin and tissues. Vitamin D, I only take that if I'm not going out in the sun for the day. And then glucosamine, which has turmeric in it. I take that just for my joints. Way up here is all of my boyfriend's like French foods. This chestnut spread right here is super good. My boyfriend's foie gras. <laughs> That's like, I think also some kind of duck. Thing. And then when you go below this little area, I've got my drawer, and this is my tea station. This is also where we keep, you know, like our aluminum foil, parchment paper, all of that good stuff, but it is mainly my tea drawer. As you can tell, my favorite brand is Yogi, but it's funny, I have all of this tea, and I don't even really drink it because... I mainly drink this one because it's loaded with caffeine and I just have to have my caffeine. I have all of these spearmint teas because when I was having issues with my skin, I read that it is great for clearing skin, so I have all of those. This little corner right here is where I keep my spices and other baking goodies. It's a little spinny thing. Whee! The top shelf is all of my spices. Well, I'll just show you a few of them that I have. Vegan chickenless seasoning from Trader Joe's. Honestly, disappointing. It has like no flavor to it. Lots of cumin. I love using cumin in so many of my recipes and it's very good for you. Red chili pepper. Cardamom, which I literally only bought when I first started dating my boyfriend because I heard it was an aphrodisiac and it worked. Everything but the bagel seasoning. Literally every household should have this. Paprika. This side of all my seasonings is where I try to keep all of my herbs. I've got thyme, chives, dill, and a bunch of others. Now below this is where I keep my bacon goodies. Vital wheat gluten, which is what I use for my chickpea cutlets. Flour. Flour is essential for vegan cooking and you need so much of it because there is so much you can make homemade. Got chickpea flour, which I like to use for popcorn tofu, which tastes just like popcorn chicken. I swear it. Chickpea breadcrumbs. Regular breadcrumbs. Apple cider vinegar. White vinegar. Coconut oil. And a bunch of like peanut butters and almond butters. This little corner right here is where we keep some fruit and potatoes. We've got a lot of sweet potatoes right now. Normally we keep avocados here as well, but we just ran out. And last shelf of the day. Basically other things. We've got our vinegars on this side right here, like balsamic vinegar, rice vinegar, more apple cider vinegar in the very back there. Agave syrup, which I use in replacement of maple syrup. Low sodium soy sauce. Coconut aminos. Some Himalayan salt here. Sesame oil. Worcestershire sauce. Nutritional yeast. Normally we have so much more of this, but we are running out anymore. Ah! Coconut oil spray for cooking. And then back there I've got baking soda, baking powder, cornstarch. These three are essentials as well for vegan cooking. Up top here, here is where I keep all of my stuff for desserts. Like we've got vanilla extract, cocoa powder, brown sugar, powdered sugar, and dark chocolate chips. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos and I'll see you guys next time.